is that you? Ooh, that shit contagious. What up? So as you guys know, I am not the biggest Honda Acti fanboy. They're arguably the most popular K-Truck. They're cool. I mean, here's the interior. We're going to learn more about this one in today's video because it's actually for sale. So I'm here with the salesman, Nathan. You guys know What's him from up? the channel. And he's actually selling his van. Yeah, so it's finally for sale. I've had it for, what, probably about like six months now. Had my fun with it, did some work, and uh, ready to move on to the next. And people have been bothering me ever since it was in Nick's first video. I've been getting messages. Uh, this one's pretty clean, too, it. and it's a raccoon. Everybody loves the little yes. vinyl, whatever. Of course. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go over it, just some of the little things about it, stuff I've done, and uh, for anyone who's interested. Yeah, it's located in Long Island, New York. Yep. And I guess so just where do we start? Where do we even start? There's so many things. Oh, uh, you want to start inside? No, nah, start outside. Start, start outside. outside. All right. So we can start up front. Uh, first thing was to replace those headlight lenses. So I uh, just went and replaced them with OEM lenses. Got the new clears. So this was orange when you got it? Yeah, they were the amber ones. And oh. I replaced them with the clears. It's pretty much just like a kind of plug and play. The bulbs are a little bit different, but it's pretty easy to make it all work. Um, and I also retrofitted some LED bulbs up here that I can uh, show you guys later. Those things, probably the brightest car that I have, even brighter than our new Civic. It's pretty crazy. That's crazy. Um, what else? Needed, of course, new wiper blades, the smallest blades I've ever bought. I think they're like 14 Rain inches or something. not yeah. bad. Uh, antenna we replaced. It's got the California mirrors that everybody loves. Yeah, those are I actually um, want those on my van. I'm not gonna they're lie. They're really nice too. Like I compared to my Suzuki, I feel like I can actually see with this thing. Yeah. It's got the chrome bumpers on it. Um, so when it came to me, it had a, a clear outline. Of, you can sort of see of where oh, this yeah. exact uh, decal was. So I felt only the right thing to do would be to replace it. Um, so I did that on the front and back where the outlines of them were. I'm sure someone just pulled them off at some point. Yeah. So I had to stick those back on. Um, What's next? So the roof rack, I get asked about this a lot on Facebook. Um, I saw someone on Instagram who also has an Acti van posted that they had used this and I took the link. I'll, I'll give the original guy credit. I'll give you his Instagram. But um, and I'll if anyone's interested in the link as well, it just required a little drilling because, you know, the original mounting goes here. But of course, the van's got that tall roof. So we yeah. just slid it up to here. And it bolts right on, like, uh, you know, any other roof. So rack. you made this one basically, and that one was the, the one. Yeah, exactly. So these are stock ones, and I just oh, bumped yeah, it nice. up yeah. and had to get some, some long. It gives it a nice there. look to it, too. Like, yeah, if you go it's back. Yeah, solid, too. Like, I would feel comfortable throwing something. It's up like a there. nice little roll bar yeah. to tip over. I've seen a lot of people, too. They put, like, um, the, you know, they'll put the basket up there and they'll put, like, a tent or yeah. all different stuff. Um, yeah, Leon, you know, on Facebook, he always oh, yeah, he's yeah, got, yeah. He's got a nice setup up there with the roof bars and light light bar and all that stuff i if i were to keep it i'd probably be doing that but you know it's got to go uh what's next outside oh, wheels right, wheels so and then i guess maybe we could move to the inside yeah. to talk about those all right cool so wheels these are the stock wheels not any you know they're not just steelies you know 27 years old so they're a little bit beat up but they are nk wheels so of course i had to put them back on i got some new center caps and lug nuts for it and put the tires from my suzuki on it so it comes with a set of winter tires and then if we move around to the back here, I'm also going to be selling it with a set of 13-inch uh, Civic VX wheels, a full set of four. They're in pretty decent shape. Uh, they look really great too. I'll, no, these are definitely some pictures of them. Yeah, one of the most looks, popular wheels. They look really great. You can refinish them any color you want. I think they look pretty good. Um, and then what else in the back? Same thing. It's got the uh, chrome bumpers back here. So. This one doesn't have it, but a lot of the older, like the ones that don't have the corner lens headlights, the older Acti vans, but still the, the HH series come with, it has a little vent down here to uh, cool, you know what. Oh wow, you, uh, really? Yeah, direct airflow. So it comes right from behind the headlights. So that's a weird quirk that this one doesn't have. To release the gas, it's this tiniest little switch here that I forget sometimes how to use. You just push it out to the side. Yeah pops it open so the oil fill as well is right back here i had to open it. it took me about 15 minutes to figure that one out and there's a little that's bit crazy here. 
Um, you did this too, I remember. Yeah, I put the little LED panels back here, which That's actually a nice make light. a nice, a nice difference. Um, and it is, of course, rear engine. The engine is right underneath here, underneath these wheels. So uh, you could say you own a rear engine Honda. Or a baby NSX van. Yeah, mid-engine, actually. I knew you have a couple cool stuff in the front. We got yeah, this cup holder. This one. This one. So, so this one. Yeah, so this came off uh, Facebook. One of this guy, Frederick, that I'm friends with just 3D prints these. It goes right into the ashtray. Oh, it's nice and it's cool. It can fit like a, a Yeti, like a full size cup. I got this little uh, FM transmitter, which is really nice because I can use the stock yeah, radio. Yeah, that's clutch. I, of course, had to install this. If anyone knows what car this is, comment it down below what car this is out of. But of course, it is Honda OEM. It has four cup holders. Yeah, guys. this is like the most in any K-Van ever. I know. I have zero. It says something about me, maybe. Um, what this else? I nice. have the, uh, yeah, I got a little blue anodized shift knob. It's kind of hard to find one that sort of the suits fit, the whole yeah. K thing. Because most shift knobs you get are these giant one so I was lucky enough to find that and if, one of my favorite things are these uh, floor mats that I ordered from Japan that oh, nice. are you know they fit pretty 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 perfectly um, and they got the, the blue stitching which I kind of was yeah. trying to do a little theme of in here has AC too it does yeah it's got AC as well as the rear heater yeah um, which I do think was like pretty standard on the raccoon vans don't quote me oh no and has a clock yes it does have the clock of course uh, a tachometer oh and there's 104,000 on the clock so okay okay that's like not that 62,000 yes, miles yeah um in the back here this is one of the coolest parts so we got battery this is going to be the access to like your coolant uh tanks and stuff that are the coolant overflow and just the jack and stuff little tools are over there it's also your washer fluid it's clean here too good thing to know it's not rusty yeah yeah it's pretty clean all the way back i you know you can sort of see yeah. so this is where the engine is right here oh uh, yeah the whole thing is is clean yeah you have to take the headrest off right or no No, you actually know that is one of the coolest things oh wow so, so um do you know how to do it i don't know here, how I'll to come do it. On your is it this i think you have to do this side first anyway yeah so this is washer fluid coolant um, that's just another access in the back here, and then the other side's your jack yeah. and everything. And I'm pretty sure that that jack, like the bag, has never been opened on this thing. It's kind oh, of that's funny. Sweet. So to pull this up, you literally just lift here, and once it's up, push ah. back, locks it into place. Pull this. I'm not gonna lie. One thing Throw that the Acti has that um, the Bravo doesn't is the fact that one you have to get to keep your headrest, and that it folds all the way flat. And it's pretty cool too. You can just do the like you could lay down here. Yeah, you, you know you could oh, theoretically have too. one person back here and still have like a, yeah. a motorcycle back here or something. Like my really um, thing stops like right here on the Bravos, like it doesn't go flat. Yeah, I got like the, mine uh, isn't flat. The rear. Oh yeah, you have the, the things too. Floor mats. Yeah, the rear floor mats. I actually think These that one's clean, supposed too. to go first. Yeah, I tried to clean them off. They flipped all right. And another weird little quirk that I should have included is this is actually how you fill up your radiator. Wow. <laughs> this is this is your, your coolant cap is right under here. I'm not. I'm gonna leave it be. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a weird quirk. And it's kind of got these two glove boxes, which is a little bit weird. It's got this nice little tray down here. So compared to most of the other. Uh, well, this one definitely the, is pretty spacious. The, yeah, the compared to the Acti trucks, this thing is a solid bit uh, roomier. You know, and I've had two adult passengers in the back of this thing before. No, they, back here is comfortable. I mean, it's, you, know, you can see if I'm sitting back here. Yeah, like back here, you're good. Like, look how much. Got the roller coaster bar. Exactly. And like, like the windows go all the way down. Yes, yeah, so that's another weird thing. One of the thing. best factors to... of the vans. So another weird little quirk on the vans is, I can credit my mom for helping me to figure this out. I thought there was something wrong with it. And she said, why don't you just pull this down here? So if you roll it back up a little bit, pull it down. Yeah, no, that's one of the best features on all the vans. Like I love in the summertime having this huge window. Like it's, it's insane. It's bigger than my entire arm. It's got all the... Uh, the rain Sun visors, yeah, the yeah. Rain visors, and they're all intact. I'll change the camera now. We'll drive it back to his house. It's pretty quiet, much quieter than my Bravo. Yeah. As much as I'd like to joke around and hate, the active van is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna drive the Acti. Let's 
starts he up no problem. Which is a big pro he right works now. great. It's probably like what 35 out. It's freezing out right now. It's freezing. So how do you feel like this one drives compared to your carry? So overall driving, I would say, you know, like any K truck, they they all do drive quite similarly. It's pretty uh you know, driving on New York roads may not be the most enjoyable thing, but yeah. it's it's great. You can park it anywhere. It does drive, you know, for most of my you know, going to college every day and yeah. just getting up and back to stores. It really is, you know, it's one of the best vehicles I really think you could have around here. The insurance is dirt cheap because I'm young and, yeah. you know, car insurance is expensive. So in that aspect, I think it's, you know, pretty similar. But when you look at the car itself, this thing is definitely nicer than the Suzuki. I mean, the heat works flawlessly. It you have AC in the Suzuki? I have no AC. Uh, this thing has AC. Um, yeah. This is a five-speed. Yeah. It's got power steering. And it's just nice. Like You know, everyone, something that I've sort of found is that people want to, everyone wants a ride. And you can only give one person a ride in your K-Truck. Yeah, exactly. You could give three. You know, I saw that when they built a uh, four-door drift car. They were like, yeah. you could really share the experience. So uh, I think that's definitely another big advantage is pull up to car meets. You could really show it off but um and it's also just more practical i, I mean, know i literally daily drive mine yeah i don't think literally you know i think there's a select few people that could use a pickup truck exclusively yeah. just as a pickup truck but i think anyone could really make use of a van it's yeah. basically it's just an suv this thing and uh i love how big the windshield is the windshield it's is great huge and compared uh, to my bravo which is like half the size it's um it's very smooth compared yeah. to the suzuki you know the suzuki is as it was designed it's more of a utilitarian um just sort of work vehicle as yeah. opposed to this van it was just you know this was like an optioned van it came like you said heat ac clock. yeah i guess heat's pretty standard ac yeah. clock uh speakers in the doors yeah. tachometer so you know i would just say the way even it was designed it's just uh more casual, uh, nicer driving experience. But to tell you the truth, I think at the end of the day, I'm still a, a Suzuki guy. Really? I think it'll always be my. Yeah, I'm really. Uh, maybe after I sell this, I. Uh, Get a wagon. I might be picking up. Man. Yeah, I'm, I've been, really been eyeing those. Um, those Joy Pop turbos. Oh yeah. Those yeah. things are crazy. I follow this guy in Japan that's you know just a basically a K truck dealer in Japan. Yeah. And I don't think he does much exporting, but. He sells a lot of those uh, Joy Pop vans, and those things are—they're they're pretty much the uh, like the highest trim, if I'm yeah. if I'm correct on that. And they, uh, similar to that, the Raccoon Acties, they have some of the, the nicer features. They come. Uh, I've seen a, a blue one on my videos. I don't know if you ever saw it. Yeah, yeah. I, I never saw it in person, but I've seen your videos. Yeah. That thing's crazy. has like a nice steering wheel. And he picked it up for a good price too, if I yeah. if I remember. He got it before like, it was like a thing though. Right. Or K trucks were like seven thousand. I could be wrong too, but I thought that most of those uh, Joy Pops were in the later nineties. But I could I could also be wrong. Yeah, on I'm, that. Not sure. I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't about really that. know a lot of people with the Suzuki van. Period. Everybody loves the truck. Everybody loves the truck. But yeah, back home now and uh, drive. Oh, you didn't mention the stuff that got changed. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can do that right here. I guess. I'll just pull up behind the Miata. Yeah. Cause that'll look cool. Ooh, right. Yeah. So I guess before we end the video, I'm just going to go over some of the maintenance work that we've done on it, me and my mechanic, yeah. real quick. So, uh, you know, just the basics, oil, an oil filter, air filter, fuel filter. Uh, we did replace the fuel pump. We replaced the engine thermostat and some coolant temp sensors. The spark plugs and wires were also replaced, Damn. as well as the distributor cap and rotor. Uh, I did swap in also, in, not a new, but a, a cleaned um, factory, you know, replacement carburetor with new air and fuel solenoids, replaced the ignition control module, and I also fixed just some cosmetic stuff, you know, that had a broken door handle, the antenna didn't work, just some other stuff that I mentioned. Um, and then just to go over the car as a whole, like I said, it's got 105,000 kilometers, give or take. Um, it does come with the two sets of wheels, which is nice for anyone interested winter or summer you got both sets new york state title which i also know is important to a lot of people um, huge pro yeah a lot of people are you see on the facebook groups are only looking for trucks now that come with titles so uh i don't know if the vans are gonna get like 
sidebar. I don't know if vans are in the same category, though. Yeah, people... Uh, I've never heard of anyone with a van getting their title revoked. Right, revoked. But I actually have heard of some people having issues in the first place of getting a title from with importing. Van. Right, oh. yeah. So they're real, uh, you know, you have to... Unfortunately, depending on the state, you got to know the right people yeah. or you got to know the right way. But, you know, you from watching the videos from yeah. Nick and I, there's always a way to get it done. So, uh, yeah, I can help you out with... Uh, with anything with the van so any questions you could reach out to me yeah i'll put his instagram right here and um you guys can contact him if yeah you instagram want. or facebook yeah or facebook so i'm gonna be asking ten thousand five hundred, but of course i'm open to uh trades trades too. yeah trades you might get a miata maybe i'll maybe i'll trade nick for his miata who knows <laughs> um but yeah you know i'm negotiable on the price i understand the market the way things are right now and yeah. uh so yeah I'm looking right, forward to it. to cut this piece out. Thank you. Clean acting for real. All jokes aside, this is really a nice car. I though. appreciate it, dude.